Did you wake up? Yeah. And we got our Batman jammies on. Yeah. We're going to go get dressed because we're going to go bye bye. We're going to go bye bye. We're going to go to the mall. We got to go to Costco. Are we watching the girlies? What are they doing? Okay. Oh, let's show everybody what happened to our cookie. So, we had our cookie last night. <laughs> There's how much is left. And we had pizza for dinner. So, mmm. Yummy. We ate it almost all of it. So now, we're going to go get dressed. Say okay. Hi. Let's look at your shirt. Auntie Carly bought this for you. It says, my dad is my hero. <gasps> you look cute. Oh, Lucy, you're not going. She's heard us say we're going bye-bye. But Lucy can't go bye-bye. She's got to stay here. But we're going to go bye-bye. Yeah. Not you, Lou. Look at little bugaboo babies. We're going to the mall. Yeah. Whee. Oh, look at those that they got for kids. Yeah, but they got charge. Oh, I know. I think it's cool, though. Look at the white barn. That's a pretty tree. Bath and Body Works. Oh, these are cute little mugs. They're just too big, though. Do you want to put those in here? Yes. Well, it's... Are you going to color the picture? Well, here, let's move it up. That's a good boy. Yeah. You're coloring. Hi guys, how are you doing today? Well, good, how are you? I'm very good myself. Alex, you gonna eat your chip? No, you don't like that. <laughs> it was too spicy. Funny. Okay, you don't have to have that no more. There you go. So Alex is eating rice and beans. Joe's got his tacos there. Hold up. Dad just sent me a text message. She said, you still at Costco. Get the shrimp that's already cooked. little outfit today brown. you have brown overalls and you got a truck down there and you got your new little hiking boots and a flannel shirt you're a pretty looking boy today are you gonna go out now with daddy all right Chloe get back Chloe go Daisy yeah, had his boots on too. Daddy's putting his boots on. Are you gonna go bye bye, Alex? You gonna go bye bye? 
Bubby's cleaning. She's vacuuming, and then I'm going to clean this table off. No touch. We don't touch it. Say no, no. Uh, Chloe. No, no. Are you eating your meatballs and macaronis? Where's your bread? Did you eat your bread already? Yum! Is that good? Is that good? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yummy! Yummy! And when we're kicking those feet, that means we're happy, but you stopped. <clears throat> Getting our pellet stove in. So they've taken our wood stove out. And there we go. So we'll do, hopefully, a step-by-step -step thing. So now they've pulled all the lining and everything out. This is, I guess, the second... Part of the step now they've got to um, put in some kind of a pipe before they can do the stove <clears throat> they took lunch and they went to go get the pipe that's what's got to go down in our chimney they took parts of our chimney out and not going to put the liner back in because they wanted to get the pipe that it just everything goes straight up the pipe so they did that and um whoops you can't see my shadows in my there's what time it is. I doubt that they're going to get finished today. They may have to come back tomorrow. And you see that big square thing? Well, that's the wrong size. And it's only two and a half inches in depth, the sides right there. So whatever, you know, two and a half inches is. It's supposed to be five. So, and that's the original that came with the house. That's not even correct. So they've ordered a new one, a correct one. So they're going to have to put that one back in temporarily and um, just do whatever they got to do to keep it in there temporarily till the other one comes. Girlies, are you scared? Look at Lulu. Are you scared? Guess what? Daddy's home. Daddy's home. Daddy's home. Good morning, girlies. It's late morning. Who's coming downstairs? Josiah. Good morning, fishy. them are doing very nice. So let's go have a little look at um, our stove. <clears throat> Here we are, uncompleted. See that? They did turn it on yesterday. It works, but they have to, the parts that cover in here it's cast iron and it's the same color brown as our wood stove that we had so it covers all of this and then up in here and then there's an arch surround thing that comes um, around it that's also the brown cast iron and the arch is missing we have this that covers this part it's in a box and the living room but uh, we don't have the arch so the guy said he was going to go and pick that up hopefully today and I say hopefully because I don't 
trust these guys. I hope that they do it and will come uh, tomorrow and finish it. Otherwise, we have to wait till I don't know. They said one day next week, but you can't trust that either. Because, um, well, this whole thing is a long story. I'll have to explain it in a sec. But I did have some people asking me about pellets. What do they look like? Here's the bag of pellets. And here's the pellets themselves. It's pressed wood. It's got this waxy coating stuff on it. But it kind of looks like rabbit food. Big pieces of rabbit food. And this gets poured into there and of course then whoops um, as it goes down there it goes in this big silver thing and a whole bag is supposed to go in there 40 pounds so this is that side and this is this side hello Ellie and look at the girlies over there and I don't look so great. That's okay, because I'm getting ready to go upstairs and get dressed for the day. It's a very lazy Saturday morning. The sun is shining. It's very nice. And the guy is coming back to finish that. <clears throat> so, my last update on the stove was yesterday, Friday. And I was going to give a brief uh, story behind the stove. I think I shared in my last video how, no, maybe I didn't. I can't remember. But anyway, we had our um, chimney cleaned the end of August. And the chimney sweep noticed that um, there was some damage inside the wood stove that was going to have to be repaired. But then he noticed other issues going on with up in here within the chimney. And he said we had two options, that we could get a pellet stove and leave the mantle and everything the way that it is, or we could tear all of that out and then have an alcove built out and put a wood stove in. Well, we didn't want to do that because we like our mantle. So um, we went with the pellet stove option. The guy told us, he said, now, if you want to get this in very quickly, like in September, um, you want to have us come back in a week so that we can go over stoves, you can pick what stove you like, and we can order the parts and get everything, you know, installated for you. Because the longer that you put it off, as we start getting it to the end of September and into October, that's our very busy season. And it's going to be longer before we can put a stove in for you. You'll have to wait. It'll be around like Thanksgiving, even into December. So Harry and I, we were like, oh, we better get him here the following week. So they came. It was September 3rd. And we had him here for several hours, looking through all kinds of stoves, options of what we wanted to do. We settled on what we wanted to do. Remember, this is September the 3rd. We're waiting and waiting. He told us it would be probably two weeks before he'd get all the parts and we can get everything in. So I made a phone call because we had not heard anything from these people. And I was told that there was a part that they were still waiting on, just one part. So I let another week go by and I thought I would just make weekly calls just you know, for an update. I made the next week's call, and this was now the end of September, the third week of September, and I was told that the part just came in that day. Isn't that amazing that you can make a phone call and just that day the part comes in? So anyway, that was a Wednesday, and I'm thinking, okay, they should be calling now to schedule us to put the stove in. So the next day, Thursday, nothing. The next day, Friday, nothing. The next day, um, my, uh, the, after the weekend, then Monday comes, and nothing. And, um, or wait a minute, well not wait a minute, no, no, back that up. 
When I called that Wednesday that the part supposedly came in, it was September the 30th. Sorry. So Thursday, the next day was October the 1st. No schedule. Friday the 2nd, no scheduling. Then brings it to Monday. They still hadn't called to schedule, yet the part is in. So Tuesday, I called yet again and got an answering machine. So I left the voicemail. They called later that night and they talked to Harry. And the lady said, yeah, we can get you scheduled for October the 27th. And Harry is like, uh, no, you'll get us in sooner than that because you told us, your guys told us if we got them there immediately, which we did our part, we had you there immediately. If we ordered everything, it would only take a couple weeks. We'd get it in. This should have already been in by now in September. We did our part for that. Plus, we gave a huge down payment. And so Harry said, no, that's unacceptable. You know, we've already given you money and everything. We should have priority for other people that have come after us, that you need to bump them from the schedule and move them around. So the lady says, well, the best I can do is October 20th. And Harry said, no that's still not good enough you know he says this is not the way that you do business so she got off the phone went over scheduling and so forth and then called him back and said they'll be here Thursday so they came this last Thursday and the guy he pretty much had an attitude so I don't know what the lady had told him the lady that schedules but he pretty basically had an attitude and him and Harry they actually exchanged words with each other little argument but it was civil. I do have to say the guy was being as cordial as possible and Harry was being cordial. And I think what it was, was the guy was frustrated because of whatever his scheduling lady had told him. Harry was obviously frustrated because of the runaround that they gave us. And I think both guys <clears throat> just needed to, you know, clear the air and get it off their chest. And once they did, it was really nice the rest of the night. <laughs> So anyway, um, yeah, and then he didn't bring the part with him that he needed the surround to finish the job. And so they're coming today at one o'clock. I worked up a little sweat here. I want to show you what um, we did yesterday, Josiah and I, and there's still more work to do. I'm calling one of those, um, you know, junk people that they come for like garage cleanouts, basement cleanouts, like that and they haul your stuff away because there's a lot of things in this garage we don't use anymore there's a lot of things in our older shed that we just don't use anymore and I figured if I can get all of that stuff out of the the old shed that we don't use and I'm serious if I haven't used it in the last year I'm throwing it out um, unless like a spreader because you only use that now and then but um, there's a lot of things in there and even up on the loft that we have I'm gonna throw a lot of that stuff out then I should have room that I can put hopefully a lot of my Christmas decorations out there but here's what we did you see this here all of this whole area in through here was filled with uh, just a lot of stuff this snow blower was actually way down in here we had our generator here and we just had a bunch of stuff just all piled up so we cleared all of this out some stuff we took to the new shed so um, gotta leave the snow blower here obviously but we brought in um, this is 30 bags 50 bags is a ton so this is almost a ton of pellets um, we brought in here for when the weather gets really, really bad. <clears throat> like if we have blizzards and that sort of thing, so we don't have to go traipsing through, you know, um, you know, almost two feet of snow or whatever till we get a path, you know, till the snow stops and you can, you know, um, shovel a path out to the shed. So that's why we brought those in here. And as this stuff gets depleted and when we're able, like, to get back out to the shed, I'm going to try to keep just bringing more in here. And um, then we just have it through the winter when it gets really bad. Um, Adam, he changes everybody's oil. So this is all filled with all, all old oil. He needs to get rid of all of that. A lot of this stuff here that I've, this broom is okay. This is our painting stick. But all this other stuff I have thrown here when I have no longer used these for like over a year. 
and I keep throwing it out by the garbage can so it gets thrown in the garbage, but they don't take it out. So it just stays here. So all of this, when all of this gets out of here, my kitty litter can get pushed back here nicely. That's an air conditioner Brian bought. We don't use that anymore. I have no idea what this stuff is. This is my basket, but um, that keeps all my... Um, my pruning shears and things like that, and that's Adam's toolbox. Obviously, we got to keep paints and stuff. That's Harry's dad's fishing thing. I don't know what he's going to do with that. But a lot of this stuff down there, because Adam used to work on his car. That's obviously this stuff right here is to wash the car and all that, but all this other stuff um, is all just car junk that needs to go. So if I can get all of this stuff cleared out of here... <clears throat> I will be one very happy person. And then it frees up stuff here um, in the garage. I'm going to try to get this organized in the spring. Um, but if I can get the, the majority of it hauled out of here, I'm going to. And then, um, like I said, then the one shed, if I can get all of that junk out of there, I can put a lot of my Christmas stuff out there. And then um, just leave like the tractor and a few of the, the lawn tools, like um, what's the thing that turns the soil what's that thing called whatever it's called I can't think of it right now but like that's out there things like that um, our pressure washers out there we can leave those things there but um, like I said it'll free up a lot of space so I'm going to take you now to the new shed and I'm going to show you what we did in there yesterday so everything grew very nice in the summer it's filling in there very nicely uh, my burning bushes are just now starting to turn red a little bit, but my Japanese popular there, it's um, got a lot of red leaves and so forth on it. So, um, anyway, this is all doing well. These are our lilacs. Um, in the spring, we're going to have to cut them back a little bit. Um, so this one did not come back, um, this bush. That one ended up dying. See back there where it's still really tall? That's where it's alive, but in the spring, we're just going to have somebody come and dig these out, and we'll put something else in there. I have no idea. But that's for the spring. I'm not worried about that. Um, I do need to trim these up. We just trimmed all in here, and I need to trim this up here. There's our old stove. We're going to keep that. And look, I cleared my deck all up. So, I put a lot of things away today. We took up our pallet over here. Yesterday, Joe and I did. And we just mulched in here. So this won't be in the way. We can just come right out here to the yard. I have to show you this. In August, all of this was all filling in with grass very nicely. In August, we had no rain. And it was so hot and everything died off. And so, look at my grass now. And I have a block there and two blocks there. We just filled dirt in there because Lacey was digging holes again. So here, let me show you inside here. So you saw what it looked like the last time. We had pellets all the way through here and the same all the way through there. So <clears throat> what we did, we just put everything to the back. So it's easy to walk in here. And then, um, this was in our other shed, but like this stuff here was in the garage. All of this stuff, this is Christmas stuff we brought back from Joe's apartment. That was in the garage. That's our generator right there. Um, Brian's headboard, he wanted to store that here, so that's there. And then Carly's got um, bedding for her rabbit. She bought extra for the winter, so we've got that. So, yeah, so... This is what we did. So Josiah and I had to move all of this here, all back in there, and we had to move all of this. And this stuff was stacked pretty high because, well, this is the original line that went this way. So all of this that you see here and even back up in there we piled up. And then all of that that's in the garage. Joe and I moved that, so that's probably about three tons of um, pellet bags that we moved. It really wasn't so bad. It really wasn't too terribly bad, not at all. Um, my upper arms are feeling it <laughs> today. So yeah, it's uh, 1.39. They just left, just like I told me. They went to Lowe's to go get something. Look at this. 
they don't even have that on there at all. And they've been here since like between 11.30 and quarter to 12. And look, they don't even have, I guess there's the thing. It's like they don't even have that up. I have no idea what they're doing. Oh my goodness. Off by a three eighths of an inch. Yep. So film this and then film this. I'm filming it. So yeah, look at what they did. So they were here for 10 hours a couple days ago, but two hours they were gone on Thursday. Yeah, they were gone for two hours for their lunch and to go get a part. And then uh, they were waiting for this, this top part. This they had, but they were waiting for this. So they came here today. They've been here for three hours. It's after three o'clock now. They came here. It was like quarter to 12, something like that. And they put it in wrong. They got to come back yet again. They did this all wrong. This, this is supposed to be touching down here. And there's a nice little gap. Look at that. And then this and then is supposed to be laying down, laying down there, there on that. There. Look at that. And it's crooked. And then they yeah. damaged our molding yeah. around our mantle. Yeah, and then they damaged that. So, anyway, and this part here, it's not, look at, see how it's higher there, the tile, and it's lower, because it's this crooked. This is not level. It's crooked. <laughs> so. It's going to take another two weeks, they said, before they can come back to fix that. So, more drama to our pellets, though. And the guy that's been putting this in, he said he's been putting it in for 11 years. Really? 